Ted, I see you have a, a gap in the tire here, tire wall here. So what's that all about? Well, we're going to put small cooling tubes. Um, one in this corner, one in that corner to draw air through the building and up out of our vent window, which will be up in the peak of the roof on the south side. Well, that's our tubing for cooling. It's maybe not the most appropriate or the large, big enough size, but we're going to use it. We have it. We're going to do two vents coming in the house, maybe even three if we have enough. And uh, so we're putting them on, the, on top of the first course. And we're gonna run them through, run it through the berm. And that's is that what that trench is over there? That's what that trench is over there that Miss Jenny is digging. Apple. And it's gonna come straight from, you know, can come through that trench out the other side of the berm and into the house through this gap in the tire wall here. That's right. And uh, well, that's four inch uh, flexible um, plastic tubing variable for venting. Can you just talk about the, the pros and the cons of using plastic versus galvanized steel? Yeah, well, galvanized steel, the concept behind that would be that when the air is coming through the tube, that it's in direct contact with the ground, and it acts as a conductor, and the air is cooling as it comes through. Where with plastic, plastic is basically an insulator, and so we're not going to get the exact same cooling effect when the air is traveling through these tubes, but we have this, we're going to use it, we're going to get air movement to cool the house down, and we're, we're putting two, two of these in, maybe three, like I said, we maybe will go on the second course, and we'll just see how far we can get with this tubing, but uh, plastic is probably not the most ideal tubing to use for um, an earth vent. But it will still be cool inside, I mean, even though the plastic is an insulator, it's the R value of the insulation is not very high, so that, that cool temperature from the earth is still going to transfer Yeah, I mean, in. that R value is probably less than a half. So you're still going to get conduction. That plastic is probably only 10 mil thick, so which is like having a sheet of plastic on you. You're still going to feel the coolness of the earth through that plastic. So, so I think it's going to work properly. I mean, that, this is what I've seen used on uh, major um, buildings where they use... Uh, cooling in the earth or ponds so um it's just they, they run it in coils under the ground for a long time uh we're gonna see how it works it's an experimental building now we're gonna terminate it i'm not exactly sure until we know where our berm is ending out here but it'll probably go eight or ten feet through out, the berm through the berm and maybe we'll mound some dirt over it okay. and which grass will grow over yeah, this is a greenhouse. It's it's not a it's not a residence. So if it if it stay, we want it to stay a little warmer. You know, it doesn't have. To, we're not trying to achieve a 68 or 70 degree um, temperature for human habitation. If it goes up to 85 or 88, that's fine. The plants are not going to suffer from that. 